guys today I'm going to show you how to do grapes in four easy steps this is very simple great for beginners or all levels if you just want to touch up on your painting skills my name is Allison Pryor and we're going to do these beautiful grapes I did a preview earlier and um, so I'm just getting the chance now to do the grapes for you so we have all kinds of shapes and colors and there's probably other colors too if you want to look up uh, some pictures of grapes so let's get started so all you need is some paint which is um, the primary colors of red yellow and blue and some I put green on there and uh, black and white and some burnt umber I'm going to put some burnt umber on there and so if you got cad red, cad yellow, and ultramarine blue, sap green, and uh, uh, burnt umber, then that would be even better. But that's okay. These are nice colors. There are only two paints. Um, and all you need for your brushes is a filbert brush, small filbert brush if you have one. If you don't have one, just use whatever uh, synthetic or sable brush you have there, small, flat, or round. And I'm going to use a small little liner brush. Okay, so you only need two brushes. So here we go one circle, half circle, half circle, and that'll overlap your grapes for you. Little half circles around that one circle will make it so much easier for you to try to figure out the shapes. Good. So let's bring it down here. Good. Now, and probably one more down here, just hanging right off. Good. Now, take this time, take some, let's see, let's see. Let's take some, uh, we're going to go more on a very red side this time. So we're going to take our red, a little bit of blue, okay, but it's more red. Oops, there you are. Okay, so let's fill those in with some red. And next time you go back, next time you go back, you're going to get, well, let's do a couple first. Let's do a couple of reddish ones. Wherever you want them. Fill them in. And this time when you go back to get your red, um, with a little bit of blue in it, just put a little more blue in it this time. Just a little bit more. Let's just sort of change up the colors a little bit. Just a tiny bit. from see if we can get some different color grapes this time instead of one you know basic color but you can do this with all of them just put different greens lights and darks there we go I'm gonna try a little bit of burnt umber this time I'm gonna get brave burnt umber let's see what's gonna happen oh nice nice oops was nice there we go oh my brush is too big so I'm just using a filbert brush. Get the smallest one you can find. If that's not working for you, then go get a, a round brush, a small round brush. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's go back and get some more red, a little more burnt umber, and maybe a little blue. So I'm just playing with the colors now, okay? Let's see what that does. Oh yeah, it's nice. Darkens it right up. Good. Okay, clean your brush because you don't want them too dark. Okay, and so go back and get some more red. Get that mixture again, but go more on the red side again. There we go. Good. And you might need a second coat, like I said before. And the big one down there, maybe I'm going to add a little bit of blue to that one with the red and darken up a small bit. There we go. Good. Okay, let's do our, let's do our third step. 
Now I just, just put in a little second coat so you can straighten your grapes out and get them the way you want them. So this, with the color that you used, the reddish color with some brown and blue in it that you, you did earlier, okay, all you got to do is add some white to that, okay, because we don't want it to be too white, but white enough. So we got, there we go. So just the way you need it. And then put on a highlight. And have your other brush ready to spread it out. Okay, there's your highlight. And move it around. Now if that's not bright enough, get some more paint, some white paint. Add it to your to your uh, mixture and then move it around. Good. So it's all the same. It's, all the same steps it's just making different color grapes all kinds of colors like I say you get out a bunch of grapes don't eat them all first and have a look at them and get them to guide you into the colors so if you want blue grapes you can still add red and be more on the blue side add more blue paint instead and if you want to be on the red side, then you add, so you can adjust your colors so more red than blue. So adjust your colors. It's really not hard. Just sit down and play with it. I think what happens to people is they try to rush and they don't take a chance or time out to just have a look at things the way they work. You know, sometimes you need to sit down, get a separate sheet paper or something that you can practice on and take the colors and see what they look like see how the highlights spread out for you because if you try to do your painting right away and things don't work out you get discouraged and we don't want that you want to have fun everybody loves to paint you know and uh, lots of people love to paint they say it's a stress reliever and there we go so I'm just adding some more of these highlights and see how the highlights bring everything out. Let me see. Let's put one here. Might have to make some adjustments. There we go. See how they pop out at you want you once you put that half circle on the top, that lighter color? See how they pop out. See? Good. Now so you continue doing this. And if you enjoyed this video, you can make a, you can share the video. It will be a help. You can subscribe, you can like, do all kinds of things so you can get notified of other things because I'm going to be doing videos and lots of them. And I want to do your requests. I'm getting some requests. Sometimes I can't get to your requests because I have a long list of requests. But give me requests anyway. And I will do my best. Because that, that actually that's good for me. Because then I don't have to be worrying about what should I paint next. Because I have a big long list of things that I have to paint for you guys. So you're helping me actually. You help me a lot. You make me happy when you make those nice comments. And then I know I'm helping you and I'm doing... I'm doing something right to help. So uh, you're a big part of this, of course. If you didn't watch or let me know how you felt about it, I wouldn't know. Okay, so you can make any adjustments that you need on these. Just do your steps. Okay, if you want some more highlights, you can certainly go back in and get more. And use your brush to rub it out, to rub it around so you can get some more highlight. And then your fourth step is... I bet you know. Toothpick, some white, and boom, 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 boom. There we go. Oops, got a big one down there, but that's okay. Yes, my toothpick was upside down. Anyway, so there's your grapes. So it's, you know, you got all the different colors, and you can make up your own colors of grapes. And that was fun. So I will see you in the next video from Alison Pryor. Happy painting.